She had a pet turtle and she named it Fish. Morgan Elvis took us around Peachtree Landing Friday afternoon. A new garden had been created to honor her sister Heather. And if you look closely, there are special reminders of Heather sprinkled throughout. They actually had a wind chime they hung up and it's a sun and a moon. And I thought it was ironic that they got that because that was one of her favorite things to draw was the sun and the moon, how they like connect. Since December, volunteer search groups have looked for Heather. This garden was another way to show their support. It was a nice surprise. It's nice to see your community pulling together and trying to build something in memory of someone who mattered so much to everyone. Since Saturday, dozens of volunteers spent time repaving Peachtree Landing, planting flowers and adding special touches to the place where investigators believe she was killed. We just thought it was really important to uh, you know, revitalize the uh, landing here so that people could come and have a beautiful place to uh, remember those that have lost their lives here. It's been four months since Heather was last seen, and Morgan tells us Peachtree Landing has been a painful place to go back to. It's been something sad. It's been dreary down here. But the new garden has made it brighter. Now there's a garden and everything is a happy place. And so it's no longer a place for sorrow, it's a place for happy memories and to create new memories.